Hunter x Hunter, episode 16. This guy got overkilled by someone with really confusing powers. And now into my hole I go. After I remove my needles. This whole conversation. Defeat X and X Disgrace. That is good news for Gon and Kurapika and Leorio who are fast approaching. It's not just their fighting abilities. It's also someone's heart, as demonstrated by Leorio. Their priorities. Stop doing that. Why do villains love licking their lips? Alright, alright. It's your friends. <laughs> How does the show do it? They capture something special about Leorio in every frame. Everything is so on point. This is about more than just the tag now. I don't- I don't believe you, Gon. I don't believe you. Big doubt. Yeah. There you go. There it is. That's Gon. We need zones times 100. <laughs> That's not gonna stop me. Just be thankful he's helping you. I recently posted the first episode of this show to YouTube, and revisiting it, it occurred to me that Kurupika sort of just gave up on the Oriole at some point. Like, they started off as peers arguing. That dynamic hashed itself out so quickly, and Kurupika just emerged, emerged as the, I don't know, wiser, more level-headed of the two. It switched from battle each other to Kurapika just being over it <laughs> and just taking shots at Leorio for, for pleasure. I think if it wasn't for Leorio, Tompa might have just dropped out by now. He's just so fun to taunt. The guy's a mess in the most hilarious way. Yo. <laughs> what a coincidence. I love Asoka just ignoring his target. If they give it to him, I feel like that's worse for them. That's disappointing. Oh, this is very diplomatic. We could trade. I didn't think about that. We give you your three, you give us your three. One of us, our three. We both win with fewer cards. I mean, it was worth a try. It was a really great idea. Wow, Kurpika really nailed that. As usual, Kurpika coming through, being great. It's diplomacy, but not weakness. It wasn't a plea. And I actually feel like that's the right answer for Hisoka. Do you feel the, the raw potential? Of Kurapika. Lyra, we don't know yet. <laughs> We're not so sure. <laughs> you can't say they're not different, right? You, you can't say they're not they're not something special about them. Everyone else he's encountered. I feel like he could just make his own cards with magic. But then it gets complicated when Gon takes his tag. <laughs> Uh, he's a villain, I mean, he's a villain, but... He's got something, right? There are levels of villainy. I think a really good villain, a villain people end up liking or respecting, is a villain who has the wrong principles, but principles nonetheless. As opposed to just someone who's terrible. I think I first thought about this with Kimberly in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. But in his terribleness, like with Ahsoka, there are, there are admirable points. Intelligence, higher reasoning than you most commonly find. I mean, even probably higher reasoning than most people that are good. Those people maybe being good kind of by accident, knowing what they are, who they are, what they stand for. Another weird connection that comes to mind is... Uh, Invincible. Yeah, that was not the moment to interfere. I was expecting a fight, and Krupika just so deftly avoided that. That will be his last tag. Soka just chilling. Okay. Oh, that's a metaphor too. 
Oh no, what was that? This is like what everyone is afraid of when they walk through forests at night. Imagine running into Hisoka, doing whatever, <laughs> whatever this is. This is nightmare fuel. <laughs> this has gotta have become a meme at some point. Someone use this as a meme, surely, right? Maybe the show's before memes. He just stood. Stood there, relishing his bloodlust. All night. Okay. He really just stood there keeping his bloodlust together. At all times, it's very likely that Gon is the next one. I mean, with everything I just said about Hisoka, I suspect that the reason he wants to see people's potential grow is so he can kill them. The priority seems to be killing. So people with no potential, just kill them now. People with the most potential, you kill them at the point of their most potential because that's the sweetest killing, which is just crazy twisted. Yeah. I thought it was an old lady. Chance. Wow, recently Hunter x Hunter has really been teaching us English. This has been an interesting solo arc for Gon. Feels like one of his biggest points of growth, having to actually focus, care, all while having the fear of death inside of him. And so is just like death incarnate. Focus on breathing, Tanjiro. Where did he learn this? He's just a natural. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. That's a huge relief. Grandma is expendable. Oh. Nightmare fuel intensifies. If you time it just right, you might actually save this dude's life. <laughs> I love it. It's so great. It's so horrifying and amazing. Oh, oh, oh. He got it. He got it. He got it. Nice. Oh, but did he cut the wire? Oh, he just used his movement to kill grandma. Get out of there. Get run. Now. Go. Go. Don't, don't, no self-satisfaction. Oh, this is awkward. You knew the risks wearing it on your chest. See, see all my potential? Look at my potential. Look at all this potential. I, I stole your name tag. That's potential. You can tell out. Oh, imagine the fear. Imagine the feeling of like, oh, he's like, I'm not behind you. I would not celebrate yet. Precisely. But what is it? What did he do? Oh, what did he get shot with a B? I remember this guy the whole time until the critical point where it mattered. Right. He did to go on what Gon did to Hisoka. Maybe someone will do it to him. There's always a bigger fish. Yeah, there's something in here about like who actually the hunters are. Hunters are also the hunted. Well, that sucked. Now we have zero. But at least we have an obvi obvious target. Whoops. Wow. Wow. I want you to progress. This is sad. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> Because Gold wins but in like a devastating way. Isn't that the episode title? So much more fun to get, get it from new people. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, God. Damn, what a statement. That actually was one of the most villainous... Well, no. It was a psychological defeat. Wow. What most people take do in 10 days, Gold did in 10 seconds. You're only making it worse, Gon. He, he, he likes this. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. But have this punch for good me measure. <laughs> I hope this is actually foreshadowing. I hope Gon actually does launch him. Gon worked so hard for that, only to have it thrown back in his face. I mean, it was still a victory. It's just... Doesn't feel great to have it end like that. He's pissed. Humiliation? 
Feels like the beginning of something much larger. First of all, the way the narrator phrased that was a bit of an overstatement. It was a victory for Gon. He did a great job. He learned a lot. He had a task and he set about achieving it. He was helpless partly because of the poison dart, not because of Hisoka. But that would certainly be how he internalizes it because I think there's the more important lesson that he's not anywhere close to where he needs to be. And that feels important for Gon because of his... It's not hubris. It's just enthusiasm. Like his optimism carries him farther than he really is. He's a great kid. He has a lot of amazing qualities that will take him through, right? It will take him to the finish line. He will end up being amazing. But as would be expected as is natural he's naive you know, he's a little kid he grew up in safety and he wants to embark on this dangerous mission that apparently is only okay for people who have gone into full-blown insanity those realizations sting even in light of victory i get it you ever work really hard at something and and have a victory and you feel elated for a second before you realize the victory you've achieved is very small scale relative to where you want to be or where others are i feel like that's the moment gon just had he's a little kid with a fishing rod he stole a pin he's only alive because Hisoka spared him him wanting to return the tag reveals the ranking of what's important to Gon. It's not even this event. It's not the exam. I think the fear has overtaken that a little bit. The understanding of the scope of the challenge and therefore reflecting his inadequacies has taken over that. You don't want to win in a way you can't explain to yourself as you having done it. I think the beauty of Gon though, similar to what I've said about Hinata in Haikyuu, is that because he has certain things that are really important and really valuable and rare, the other things that he needs will, will probably catch up. It's going to be pain though. And I think part of taking steps to go through that hellfire is acknowledging the weakness he's currently experiencing and to have a really accurate, full, open-eyed view at what the world is and the dangers. I can imagine Gon changing very much from where he is now or where we started the show and very quickly because as is often the case, as much as we conceptualize the task or the adventure or whatever, there is no substitute for actually going on the journey, beginning it, throwing yourself into it. You can't possibly imagine all the complexities and the, the finer nuances and details, the intangibles of the endeavor until you're, you're on the path. This is not sunshine and rainbows and fish off a tree. This clearly is a world with people like Hisoka. I love the shot of him brooding in the tree. I feel it. Like the frustration of just getting so sorely defeated, or at least just having that as a takeaway, like I lost. But for someone like Gon, I think it lights a fire.